DC here, hi guys. Well, a bit of a vlog, a bit of a chat, taking a bit of time with you um, towards this, yeah, what is it, Thursday? So coming up to the end of the week. Um, well, what do I want to chat about? I, I was thinking about a few things lately, uh, kind of fun for me in a way, is that sometimes I like to go and to ponder on the subject like... Uh, it's a bit of philosophy, but uh, where you are in your life now, what brought you there, where you want to go. And uh, I guess a lot of these soul searching can come through different, uh, different ways. Uh, we don't live uh, in our home country, so we're expatriates. So that also brings time very often of soul searching why, what, where, uh, what are the new values that you've taken up, what are the old values that you want to keep, and if any, what, which ones would you want to discard. And a lot of things go through one's mind. Uh, I've been going, as a lot of you know, through uh, a period of unemployment, which, uh, with a bit of luck, maybe I'll be able to talk about uh, something coming up. But uh, when it comes, I will talk. When it doesn't, until it does, I don't talk. Having said that, though, that is a great time when you are unemployed uh, for moving ahead. Taking time... Oh, let me straighten it up here. You know, taking time to do other things. And that doesn't mean uh, being uh, idle. Far from it. I don't know if I've ever been so busy since I've been looking for employment, uh, taking courses and uh, getting into new professions and uh, working like I'm doing now, uh, even though without pay at the university, getting into uh, tech transfer and uh, uh, product evaluations and so on. And there's a lot of things that one can learn. And at the same time, I've been doing uh, uh, online um, uh, theology course, at least the first part, and what I've been kind of doing is uh, church history, which is pretty fascinating. It is. It really is. And at the same time, I have put a pile of books here of things that I want to read or have read and so on, or reread, just to, to get in into the whole thing. Um, theology has been my, uh, my hobby. It's my hobby horse at times. And uh, I kind of like it because... Uh, it brings a lot of things out, uh, especially if you're doing like I'm doing now, church history, uh, to see that people, in a way, I would say, have not evolved very much. Uh, how often have you heard, oh, if we could go back to the good old days, to original, sometimes you hear it in church circles, like if we could be at the time of the apostles and everything. You know, people were people then. They were people before. And they scrapped, and they bitched, and they did a lot of things that were unworthy. Is it surprising? People are people. Human beings are human beings. And uh, I'm not even going to try and get into the church worldview in that respect, or even to a theological worldview. But, I mean, humankind, well, I mean, maybe we've evolved technologically, but there's a lot of things that have not evolved uh, as far as uh, human thoughts concerned. What type of books am I looking into reading? All types. You know, one thing that's important, I think, at least in life, is to not concentrate on just one aspect of life or one philosophy. I mean, I can believe that one theological truth exists. I can believe that something is the truth. But that doesn't, and I would say even to the it's almost a responsibility, if you believe that something is a truth, to look at other things. It's very, very important for, for, for different reasons. One's, one is that very often parts of what you could almost call revelations uh, exist in a lot of other philosophies, and sometimes they help you to understand what you believe in, be it by complementarity or even contradiction. It doesn't matter. I think it's very, very interesting and very important to be open. I think closed-mindedness 
It's one of the worst things that can happen in this world. So what am I going through? What type of books am I reading? I'm going to bore you now. Okay. And for example, you know, after the, when there was the Dan Brown thing, uh, it's funny because I've been looking at these books for a long time. It's The Woman with the Alabaster Jar. It's, uh, it's a story of Mary Magdalene and uh, the Holy Grail and uh, how people, uh, certain people go on, uh, I would say, on sometimes pretty interesting theories um, and at points, facts which you cannot always understand or explain. And uh, actually Dan Brown based himself a lot on this book and this author from, it was, this is Margaret Starbird, uh, for a lot of the stuff that uh, he brought up. Yeah, so that's one book. One which I have to get into, which has been talked about a lot, is called The Shack. It's, uh, it's going to be a story, as far as I recall, it, it's also, there's a lot of, there's a bit of theology or something, but I guess that God comes something back, if I'm not wrong, like uh, as, a, as a black woman or something like that. Anyway, it, it's been cried and decried a lot in a lot of circles, so it's one to read. Now, if anybody is into Buddhism, you almost have to read this book. It's by Ravi Zacharias. It's called The Lotus and the Cross. And it's a talk. It's Jesus who's talking with Buddha. And it's probably the most well-balanced book that I have read um, in that respect, where uh, the philosophies and the theologies, if we could call them that way, of the two were brought together. It is really one to read if you're into Oriental religions. And um, yeah, I found it's a little book as well. It can, you can read it quickly. Oh goodness, this is one that I've read a long time ago. Quite important I find if you were in science, it was called The Synaptic Self. It's a science book well, made by a big um, top shot scientist called Joseph Ledoux. He's not Canadian, but probably from French origins or whatever. It's how our brains become who we are. And no, it's not a theological book, but it's a very, very interesting philosophical book. Remember a while back, I talked about this one? I even said I'd make a review, which I didn't, but it's Love is an Orientation. It's about uh, elevating a conversation with the gay community. Uh, it's by Andrew Marin, and it is one book to read. Basically, the title says it all, Elevating a Conversation means treating the other person with respect. That's clear. And it's also learning how to discuss, but learning how to discuss not with, uh, I would say, not with the perceptions coming into, I'm right, you're wrong. Now that is very, very important. I mean, if you do want to talk with other communities, and it doesn't have to be only the gay community, if you go into that, a discussion with that mindset, uh, that you are not there to belittle the person. This is a great, a great book to learn how to do it. And uh, I'm running along. Oh, geez, I'm going to have to stop. The Mythic Journey. This is quite interesting. It's looking at the. It was a book that someone gave me. I found it fascinating. It was on the meaning of myth as a guide for life at the time. Quite interesting. And I mean, if you're into. Uh, Greek history, ancient history, it's a very interesting book. My fetish book, Travels with Charlie, John Steinbeck. I read this one at least once a year. There's loads of wisdom hidden in what looks like a travel log book. And loads of wisdom tell me that I'm coming up to ten minutes. So I will not be able to talk about all the other ones the ethic of energy and so on. Why? Why? Hurry up now. Why did I talk about all this? Just wanted to chat. I wanted to talk with you guys, talk about books, talk about... Maybe I'll have to make it a two-parter one time. But think about it yourself. What brings you... What makes you who you are? Is it yourself? Is it your books? Is it your family? Is it your religion? Is it what? What? I'm going to stop beginning of a chat, beginning of a vlog, and you see will be signing off. I'll be back with some other little chats like this, which are not there maybe only to bore you, but they're there to help me 
understand myself. Okay guys, that's off now. It's a bit of a long, boring chat, but I felt like doing it. Take care, have fun, and uh,